This episode of Unscripted is brought to you by Dubby. Dubby is an energy drink that doesn't cause any jitters and gives you a bunch of energy to get all your gaming done. And uh, it energizes me to do Unscripted. So use code CROOKEDDOESSTUFF at W.GG and you'll get your own Dubby for 10% off. And you can also find a link in the description down below. So thank you, Dubby, for sponsoring this episode. And here's Unscripted. Hello everyone, I am Crooked and I do stuff, and this is Unscripted, the series where I take a completely unscripted look at games and give it a 1 through 10 rating. And today, we're playing Bubsy and Claws Encounters of the Fur Kind. Uh, after playing Cool Spot, I apparently decided that I wanted to play... this. <laughs> uh, so here we are. Um, so... Bubsy is kind of a notorious game. Um, you either love it or you hate it. And that's just Bubsy. So, this kind of went with the whole mascot wars of the 90s of... Uh, if you had a game, you had to have a mascot. Whether that's Sonic, Mario, Cool Spot, Chester Cheetah... Mascots. Mascots everywhere. So, Bubsy was one of those mascots. And, uh... This is what we got. Uh, so this was, like, Accolade's little mascot. And... Oh, man. Uh, this is the first one. And honestly... I don't know how this got a sequel, uh, based on everything so far. So let, let's get into it. There's controls. L looks left, R looks right. Select does nothing, start pauses, much like cool spot with nothing to go with it. Uh, you bounce on enemies to kill them in very Mario-esque style. When you land, you like pause for a second. Oh god, I fell into water and died. What could possibly go wrong? Cheese wheels of doom. So you can run uh, by holding right. Uh, there's fall damage. Go wrong. <laughs> fall damage in a platformer. Woo. Bubsy. What can I say? Bubsy. Uh, so there's A, or B, A, X, Y. You'd think they all do the same thing, but they don't. If you jump and hit Y, you do that. If you jump and hit X, you do that. So there's four different jump buttons. Two of them let you glide afterwards, and two of them don't. Uh, controls are... I mean, when you're walking and stuff, the, the controls are pretty responsive. Oh, wow. Uh, in terms of the music, what the... What could possibly go wrong? Did I just get killed by a gumball machine? Um, uh, yeah, so controls are... Controls are, uh, that. that. That's all there is. There's nothing else to it. I'm going in a cave. Um, it's very, hmm, very mad. In terms of sound, um, I, oh no, I, I hate the sounds in this. Uh, I think it's awful when you get onto the water slide. If you touch water, you pretty much die. Oh no. Uh, or if you, like, I guess you can swim into water, but yeah, and you glide to avoid the insane 
fall damage. Uh, if you jump into a car, you die. <laughs> Everything in this, from what I'm gathering... So I don't, I don't remember a lot of the first of the game. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, everything kills you in one hit. It, it's basically just, you're here to die. You are a dying bobcat. So prepare to die, bobcat. Uh, you collect these balls of yarn. I don't think they actually do anything. And honestly, uh, outside of decent controls they're they're not great uh, they are somewhat responsive at times but it's still nothing fantastic nothing that you're gonna write home about you're not gonna praise it for the controls because it's literally it's basically just a two button game and you can reduce that down by just saying why with everything then it's just a one button game um the sound is very repetitive and has no merit. The so the song that's playing is just generic defined. Um, and the graphics. Uh, this looks like an early computer game and it basically plays like an early computer game. For those of you who weren't around for DOS-based games, um, you probably probably recognize computers today as, like, one of the best ways to play a lot of games. Back in the 90s, it wasn't so much like that. Um, computers were used for gaming still, but it wasn't like it is today, where they had the highest graphics and the highest gameplay ability. Uh, that became the case in... Uh, about the mid to late 90s, but before that, it was just kind of this. Uh, platformers weren't known for being good for computers. They were good for, like, RPGs, text-based adventures, stuff like that. But when it came to, like, platformers, racing games, things like that, you wanted a console. Uh, so when we get into Bubsy, this plays like a computer game. And that's not a good thing. Uh, uh, I mentioned earlier how I, I don't know how this got a sequel, and I still don't understand how it got a sequel, because it's... Bubsy can be kind of cool as a mascot, I, I guess. I guess. But overall, there is almost nothing redeemable about this game. It has a generic soundtrack, it has generic graphics that don't really look good. It has generic gameplay that doesn't feel good. It's really, really mediocre in every single way. Um, in terms of a score, I'm gonna give Bubsy like a 3. It's a playable game, but with as little merits as it has and just nothing really good going for it. I don't know why anyone would ever play it. I I don't know why I'm still playing it. And that that's kind of where we're at with this. So comment down below. Let me know what you thought of Bubsy or what you remember of Bubsy. Um, like this video if you enjoyed what you saw. Hit that subscribe button so that way you never miss out on an episode of Unscripted. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever a new episode of Unscripted comes out. Other than that, he doesn't like heights, and I do want to thank you for watching Unscripted, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye! Short.